guys i'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy vegan spaghetti using some light life vegan crumbles these are my light life vegan crumbles i'm using like two boxes of um vegan crumbles um and then i have like a half can of tomato sauce just about half can that i had left over yesterday and uh the pasta is boiling off in this big boiler. We're going to pour the water off of that in a second. We put just a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the skillet. And then you want to brown your vegan crumbles so that's your meat that's going to go in your pasta. You put a little water in the bottom so it don't stick. Just a little water in there. I like tomatoes in my pasta. Some people don't even eat tomatoes, but I love tomatoes. Um, I don't eat them all the time, but when I cook pasta, I like diced tomato. So you put your some diced tomatoes in there, give it a good taste. I will just put the can, whole pan, and you just mix that up in your meat sauce. Only thing I use in the pasta to boil it is two uh, teaspoons or one tablespoon of oregano and some olive oil. Add in some chopped up onions and garlic, half an onion and one clove of garlic in there. Okay. Mix that all up. This is going to be wonderful meat sauce for our spaghetti. These are light life vegan crumble. Onion, garlic, can of tomato. Spaghetti is good enough now. Pour the water off of it. You don't want it to be overcooked. Leave just a little, little bit of water in the pot. Turn it all the way down low. And you can start adding your meat sauce into the other pot with the spaghetti. Mixing the two together. Okay. Cook down. Add just a little bit of water in here. Don't let that cook down. This is how you make your vegan spaghetti. I use two packs of meat and one 
small peck of spaghetti because I don't want to have a lot of spaghetti in the pot, but I want to have a lot of meat in the pot. Let's see if I have any more sauce. I'm going to need some more tomato sauce. But it still will be, it still will turn out just fine, guys. Even though I don't have any more sauce. <laughs> We're gonna season it up really well. Add in a little bit of oregano. Gonna add in some uh, kosher salt and pepper. I'm a big person on measuring your salt. Okay, that's probably too much. I'm gonna add in some kosher salt. Sorry about that. And uh, just put in a little black pepper. some extra I bet you they know that I did I put taco seasoning in as well especially when I don't have enough sauce a little taco seasoning because it has uh, the red pepper and all of that in there already I am sometimes you can do a little little touch of smoked paprika this will give it uh, a little some some I really like for my spaghetti to be doctored up and tasting well. Okay. I had a cayenne spice, but I don't want to um, use that. When I'm using a spice or a salt, I tend to put it in my hand because I don't want to overdo it with that seasoning. You know, sometimes you can put too much of a spicy something and it'll mess up the whole dish. And then you just stir it all in together until it cooks up really well. And when you serve it, if you have some cheese and garlic bread, you just sprinkle a little cheese on top and the garlic bread goes right on side. Did this stop taping? Oh, it's still taping. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how it comes out. It's, uh, it's a vegan spaghetti. I don't have my garlic bread and cheese. Oh, I do have the cheese. I have some blue cheese that I normally like to put. I have a blue cheese. Uh, so I'm going to turn it off. I like for the water and all. I like it to be cooked down uh, just about dry. You know, and then I know it's ready. See, I had a blue cheese block somewhere in here. Just put a little bit of that on the top. Blue cheese uh, on my salads, and I'm gonna serve a salad on the side with this dish today, right? Turn it off, it's ready. This cheese right here, this um, Bel Giojoso right here, the block. Oh, it is so good. The blue cheese. So you want to take a little bit of it and put it on your plate. You kind of mix in the crumbles with the spaghetti. Just one small pack of spaghetti. Right? Show you my product. It turned out like this. I, it would be even better if I had more sauce, but 
only had like a half can of tomato sauce, but it's okay. It still turned out really well with the uh, Light Life, get the Light Life Vegan Crumbles, guys. Now, what you do next is you plate it up by just adding a little in the center and then uh, you take your vegan cheese crumbles and you're just going to add it right on top of your well, this isn't vegan cheese. This is blue cheese block. This is a, a, a blue cheese block. You're going to add it right there on your uh, food. And it all went to the side. But you add that right on top. The blue cheese, right? ketchup in here. I like for stuff to look red. <laughs> so I'll put anything. I'll put barbecue sauce, ketchup. I want to put some in here to have a little more redness to it. I don't know why. But when I make spaghetti, I like for it to be really red. But this is still good. It's all done. It's big pot, so it'll last. It's a big pot. It's only two people even if you had three people, you use a big pot for your spaghetti. Always use a big pot. You know why? Because you want to have leftovers when you make spaghetti. Right? You always want to have because I mean if somebody's hungry and you got spaghetti and you got some kind of bread that you can toast with it, that's a whole meal. Only thing I'm going to do, I have some oat bread or something I bought. I'm going to post that. What you do is you put your salad right on the side like that. And that's the whole meal. And if you, they want toast, you make a piece of toast and set that on the other side. Right? And I don't have any tomatoes, but what I'll do is put some cheese on the salad and a couple of jalapenos on there and some salad dressing. That's the whole meal. So when you come right in the kitchen for food, salad and uh, spaghetti today. Throw you some jalapenos on your salad and you got you something, right? Just like that. Don't have any tomatoes, so we're going to put some jalapenos on it. And then you got to go in with a little salad dressing. I love uh, French and I love vinaigrette and I love Italian but he is a ranch eater so when I make him a salad I use a ranch and there you have it you got your spaghetti and you got your salad on the side your vegan spaghetti so we didn't make a casserole today but we did make food right so like I told you take one small pack of spaghetti and two boxes of light life vegan crumbles and a half can of tomato a whole can of tomato sauce okay guys and you can also serve this with your garlic bread on the side thanks for chiming in have a great day